Okay, so um, I just wanted to show you how um, you can connect your contact seven, uh, form sevens uh, forms to uh, Google Sheets by um, using uh, the contact form seven to Google Sheets plugin. Um, it's really simple. Um, the first thing you do is you need to activate the plugin. All right, so uh, right away, uh, as soon as you activate the plugin, you're going to see that you now have this Google Sheets option under your contact seven forms. Um, so the the first thing you're also going to need to use this plugin is um, what's called the Sheet Monkey account. So Sheet Monkey is a free service um, that connects um, form data to uh, Google Sheets. It's uh, really simple. So um, I'm just going to go there, and this is what the Sheet Monkey dashboard looks like. And I'm just going to connect a new form. So I'm going to say new form. I want it to be a Google Sheet. Um, and I'm just going to pick a blank sheet to start sending data into for, um, for this WordPress form here. So um, I'm saving the sheet. And now this is the, this is the important step. So what, this, what Sheet Monkey has done for me is it's created a blank sheet here in my Google Drive. So you see this is just a blank sheet. I'm going to call it contact form. All right. Um, and it's giving me a form action. And this is what we really need to pay attention to. So I'm going to copy this form action to my clipboard. And I'm going to take that. And in my contact form, I'm just going to paste this right here. OK. I'm going to click Save. And this is, uh, this is all you need to do. Now, anytime that this form is submitted, the data will, will show up here. And I'm going to show you what that looks like. It's very simple. Uh, I'm going to have a contact page that I'm going to take a look at. My name, Eva, I'm going to submit this, and it's going to send it, and right away, the data starts set it, showing up um, in my uh, sheet. And this will just work automatically. It works really quick. I don't have to, and the really cool part about this is that, as you can see here, I didn't have to do any kind of um, saving um, in my form. I didn't have to, you know, save any kind of access keys or codes or authentication codes. Which is really a huge security risk if you're if you're storing that data inside of your WordPress blog, um, because if you get hacked or if there's some kind of if your site gets compromised in some way or someone else logs in, that is giving them full access to your Google Drive, where a lot of really sensitive data can be stored. Um, but with with SheetMonkey, all the data remains in the cloud in our secure servers in the SheetMonkey servers. So, it um, even if your WordPress site gets compromised no data will leak out of your Google Docs. So it's a very simple way to do it, um, works great, um, hope that's helpful.